Hello YouTube, it's Balmore here, um, bringing you some more blind gaming of Resident Evil Revelations 2. This is the second part of uh, the first uh, episode or chapter. I think it's broken down into uh, uh, episodes, but this is Moira and Claire. Moira is the younger one and Claire is um, the older one. And we just woke up in here to recap and don't know what the hell happened. We got taken by terrorists or something and put in this weird place that we're being watched and we're encountering these humanoid type um, altered monsters. So it is Resident Evil. There are probably some virus in them, but I don't know that much more now. So without further ado, let's get to it. This looks like there's a nice little... Yeah! Shotgun. And you hear the weird noises going on. You need a gun too, Moira. I'm doing a little slow you walk. Really don't. Sorry. I don't do firearms. Not after what happened. Shit. I'm sorry. I forgot. She had an incident. Maybe with we can guns. find you something else. Okay, so this is no, where I'm gonna find the hidden the stuff, I think. Or something. It's fine. All right, there we go. Ah, ooh, look. I guess the shiny is light right up. I think there's something shiny there, but I can't make it out. Nice. Crowbar. I can do blunt weapons. I don't have to pinpoint unless I see a sparkle. It'd be annoying if I had to, like, literally do this. And there's her little weapon. Oh, there's my inventory. I was wondering, I, they didn't give me a, at least I didn't see a way to, so there's not much inventory space. Um, green, green. Pass that to you. I'm going to ammo. Keep ammo mostly on my main character since, you know, I'm the one with a gun. See anything else? Oh, you know what? This whole time I've had herbs. Get rid of that annoying border. Oh, little girl. What the hell is a little girl doing in here? Claire? With all this blood. You saw that, right? Yeah, I saw. Something. Probably just use Moira. Because of stuff like that. I already got that one. Jeez. Yeah, if I haven't been painting it, there's a lot of ammo that I miss. I don't know, the interaction. With this game, when I was setting up the controls, that was the worst. There are so many actions that you can do with this game. Oh, there's a little latency there. It's like a little prison block. Maybe I am in a prison. Make sure. Uh, what? Who the fuck is quoting poetry? Are you afraid? You can tell me. Talk to me. What are you talking about? And who exactly are you? So much suffering. You don't even know what to be afraid of yet. Well, that was creepy. Is she talking to us or at us? She had the, um... That calm, crazy voice. <laughs> so I don't know who this... If this is a, um... 
uh, whoever, the Wessler or whatever, I can't remember the guy's name. If it's like one of his relatives or something. Well, I guess I'll do the typical. So you can't open these, I take it. There's some switch, I'm sure. Not for sure there'd have been something hidden in there. Something's gonna happen where they're all gonna like bust out. I'm gonna call it. I don't know if it's too obvious. It's like the little control room in here. Control room key. <laughs> it's still funny. Playing the evil within, this is not that bad. That's a weird one, door wise. Oh, there's a little uh, crawl space. Alright, I guess we gotta go downstairs. So I'm, I'm interested in, I, I do not like spoilers, so I will not look it up, but if you guys really enjoyed this game, um, the ones that you played it, or, you know, you say it sucked, I'll be the judge of it, you know, on my own, you know, taste. Okay. It's weird equipment. I can go through there. Let's check the other side. This looks like a way out. Yeah, it is a way out. Kind of. What do we got in there? Let's see if we can get any shinies while we're... There's a valve to turn that on, whatever that is. Technology. I need a gear. Old journal. You guys, again, you can pause it if you want to read those. Um, I highly doubt you do, but I don't know. People like to read that kind of stuff. I just don't. It, it my vision. It, it'd be too much for you guys to sit there and wait every time. journal and I, I seem to get really lucky with these games where I don't need to read it it's pretty easy usually oh, that looks comfy what's that yeah let's take one home that's a cog look at this machine there's something stuck in it sure I get those there's just so much if you don't use this flashlight it looks like it's you know gonna be a really rough time for you because there's so much ammo I found pretty much all of it from it's not working so I need power as well the power must be off maybe there's a switch Ooh, I can go up there let's hold off looks like another one Tourniquet. Oh, parts box. Me likey parts box. A little workbench. Yeah. Know that from Resident Evil. Okay, so it looks like damage. And I always prefer the handgun until I get a rifle. The rifle is, um, you know, a must. How can I do this? Okay, so we were supposed to go up that, uh, the other ladder. The music's creepy. I didn't like the music where, um, you know, it was, Mara, I'll give you, a boost. you know, get out of here. Climb up. Okay. And it just kept going, and it was annoying. But the controls, 
the uh, graphics. It's all pretty good. A little lockpick action. You gotta get two of them. Well, that was easy. Wonder how high up the locks go. Obviously, it'd probably be better. Ooh, more ammo capacity. You know me and my ammo capacity from the evil within. Unlock. Oh, if I came from that side. Claire, this way. Oh, that's right. I left her behind. <laughs> she boosted me up. I totally didn't get that. I was like, wait, what? So she was waiting for me to, um, I take it I'm going to have to, like, do wait commands and follow commands. Oh, boy. Maybe once we're outside, we can find someone to help us. There was a save point. Come on. I saw you. Let's make sure... Rocking some ammo. I don't really think I'm gonna like holding that. I'm just worried about room. I'm finding so many hidden things. So I can hold nine bullets. And I can hold two. Ooh. Alright, there's some dude that's gonna be coming. I just have that feeling. I just want to get out of here. I know he's there, the little bastard. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. For shinies. Yeah, he's like right in there. Oh, damn. Oh, God. slams through. Okay. Cool. Yeah, this is not bad. These survival horror games um, do not give me ammo issues. I wonder if, as you bump the difficulty up, it gets harder to find stuff. Or, you know, that's not the case. You just need to use more ammo. Okay, guys, well, we're 13 minutes in, almost 14 minutes. I think it's a good place. There was a checkpoint anyways. We're going to stop here um, with the second part. Um, we'll see what Moira shines with her flashlight in the darkness, and then Claire has to blow up. But I'm liking this game so far, at least the uh, the beginning. I don't know how the story's going to play out, but, you know, waking up in this, cre this creepy hospital or slash prison. Looks like a mental prison where they're probably holding cells, the ones that all those crazy guys are in and I'm kind of excited when they all blow open and I got to fight off a wave of zombies but uh, very creepy looking humanoid kind of slightly altered crazy people might have been a mental hospital that this lady kind of took over and it's been lost to uh, the public but I don't know I'm interested though this is pretty good graphics are impressive for um, uh, compared to the first one more realistic looking so I kind of like it and I hope this game I don't think is a horribly long game I'm looking forward though uh, I hope it stretches out a little bit um, lots of a variety of monsters that's what I'm really concerned about and want to see so anyways hope you guys are enjoying this and until next time later <laughs>